Hey, good morning, everyone. Marty Mazzora here, March 30th, 2022, Wednesday, with a very quick stock market update once again for you. We're going to do what we've been doing the last several videos, and that's simply focusing on the S&P 500. I want to once again draw a comparison to the fourth quarter of 2018. This time, however, I want to do it on the daily chart. So we'll jump right in with the 60 minute chart to start this morning. And again, remember right here, we had that rising wedge. It's a bearish pattern, broke out of that to the downside and then recovered. And I think we were looking at this chart right up in here on Sunday. And of course, what I'm showing is a continued, uh, at least on the MACD, bearish look. You've got a negative divergence against a higher high here, although the, the relative strength index actually did break above that. So you no longer had that, that negative divergence here on the RSI. So that, that's a positive there, except at least on the short-term chart, that shows that it was very much an overbought territory. And what I said is that, you know, again, and I do think again on balance, this is a bearish look. And all we're doing here is just extending, you know, the rising wedge pattern. And once again, you know, this morning, you know, we're breaking out of that a bit to the downside markets kind of struggling a bit here. And uh, I'll say again, we very well may just continue to kind of, you know, step our way up here. You get these rising wedge patterns and then you break down as expected. But then, you know, the market catches some steam. Now, I've been pretty consistent with my short term thesis, and that is that the market despite huge headwinds from inflation and from central banks is got two things going on. One is fear of missing out on a major ramp higher in the event of a resolution or a massive de-escalation with regard to Russia and Ukraine and an overall disbelief that a Fed that has been so supportive of asset prices for so long now actually means it, that it is willing to sacrifice markets to some extent in an effort to quell what is, you know, 40 year high inflation. So we'll see. It's going to be very interesting. I do think the Fed means it. I don't know to what degree they mean it once this market does essentially react or respond to that reality. But in the meantime, you know, this buy the dip mentality that's been fostered so dramatically over the last few years, you know, is alive and well. And there's a short term potential catalyst that could get people real excited. But like I said in yesterday's morning note, the more the market rises in anticipation of that event, then you get to that Wall Street adage you buy the rumor, sell the news, because when we wake up, we're facing some major headwinds, the most prominent of which being monetary policy and inflation at this point. On the daily chart, I keep referencing these pretty obvious technical resistance levels and the market just keeps roaring right through them. Still have this, you know, this negative cross here, but we have now the 50-day uh, moving average looking like it's bottoming and wanting to turn higher. That's bullish technically. The look of the 200-day still remains pretty bullish as it's coming off of a real flattening there. Um, this 61.8% retracement along with this resistance line right here, I honestly thought was going to be problematic for the market. But then, you know, then uh, Ukraine and Russia started talking and Russia said we're going to de-escalate, particularly around Kiev as a good faith measure for future talks. Geopolitical experts are saying we should be very skeptical of that. But we got that really nice rally yesterday, I think, on that news. And today we're seeing, you know, some get back. So what I want to do now is take a look at this daily chart relative to what we were experiencing the last time the Fed threatened to get really tight on monetary policy, which sparked a you know 20% correction in stocks. So I'm going to create a rectangle right along this resistance line right here. And I'll do that in white just to make it easier to see. Kind of a trading range in here. And you see, we had this resistance, you know, it was resistance and it was support, support, and then resistance again here. So you can see that as we 
bounce back we just continued to lose it here here a little bit here and now we're breaking out of this trading range right here okay so again that 2018 analogy i think can be instructive you know relative to at least the surface conditions right now so i'm going to take us back from march of 2018 right to when the market bottoms right before christmas day and I'd already had a rectangle drawn back there from that period, uh, right on that resistance line as well. And as you can see, there's some similarities here. We broke above it, broke above it, failed. But right now we're breaking above it more so than we did here. But I think it's fair to say, back to the current chart, it's fair to say that we're not out of the woods just yet. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Be back again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.